Well, today we are exploring Redding, California a little bit yeah. and happy to be back out exploring. Yeah. It's been a while because all the stupid smoke, man. Yeah. yeah. Today's one of the clearer days. Still a little smoky, still a little overcast. It's very but overcast, but being that it's like 99, overcast is good. It doesn't feel 99. No. Because it's overcast and there's no humidity here, so it yeah. actually feels pretty it's good pretty out today. It's pretty pleasant out. Well, we're at the Sundial Bridge. That's the big bridge behind us. Yeah. And under normal circumstances, when there's not all the crazy smoke, <laughs> It's a sundial. Yes. It'll tell you the time. Yeah. But since we have smoke, I'll tell you that it's 1249 <laughs> in the afternoon. <laughs> we have no sun. No. I wouldn't need the smartwatch if the sun was out because I could read the sundial. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. No sun. First world problems. <laughs> <laughs> have to look at my smartwatch instead of relying on the sundial. <laughs> Um, this is a huge bridge. It goes all the way across the um, Sacramento River. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many. It's it, the bottom is glass. Yes, it's all glass. Like Twenty-two over... hundred and forty-five panels of glass. I can't believe you remember that. I know. <laughs> and how many? How much does it weigh? It the weighs sixteen hundred tons, which is equivalent to four hundred elephants. Those are the fun facts on the little <laughs> board that we did. I read them also, but there's no possible way I could memorize them. That's why I asked you because. Yeah. And it lights up, so I'm assuming at night this is gorgeous because there's 219 light panels. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah. On this side of the bridge, there's the Turtle Bay Museum, which mm -hmm. has like live animals and stuff like that. And then on the other side of the bridge is a botanical garden. Yeah. So you can see all the plants and stuff. Yeah, and they have some turtles, I believe, at a pond. Oh, so, cool. Yeah. So I don't know what we're going to do, what we're going to get into. We're definitely going to go across the mm -hmm. bridge. We may go into the museum. We may go into the botanical gardens. I just don't know. Yeah. We're You'll it. have to stick around to see. <laughs> We're winging it today. <laughs> We're about halfway across the bridge and the floor is glass but it's not see-through glass foggy well i think it even under normal circumstances it's that opaque so when the lights are on at night uh makes it glow yeah kinda. it gives that illumination of so it. you can't see through the bottom which i was kind of just assuming hoping, that you could but yeah. you can't but there's a ton of wildlife out here oh god ducks yeah. and geese we saw a deer De yeah i think it's, they have mule deer yeah here too yeah there's pigeons up here perched on the on the wire of the the bridge we're not we're not we're not directly underneath them so we're good and then you just pointed out some ginormous spiders yeah that make their little homes in the grooves of the bridge yeah, not a fan no no not a fan. they're nasty looking they are nasty looking i don't like it leslie's google lensing the spider what kind of spider we got i, I don't know it might be a european garden spider okay but we'll show you the spider and you let us know what you think the spider is sometimes called a pumpkin spider if you're a spider knowledgeable if, person if it were up to me it'd be a dead spider yeah. but I know they eat here. bugs and they do good yeah. but if they come in my bubble they're dead spiders okay. i mean that's i'm sorry that's just what happens so. mystery solved yep google lens lied Google in dead lie. <laughs> well, they showed a multiple spiders, yeah. but the first thing that came up was, it was the European. Garden but it was spider. obviously the orb weaver spider. Obviously. Everybody knows that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just seeing if Google would get it right. I mean, yeah. I knew at first glance yeah. that it was the orb weaver spider. I, I figured you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're um, they're relatively harmless. They'll bite you. So there will be it can be painful, but, but it, it won't, won't kill like, you. Put you down. Yeah. But this is like a great environment for them apparently this is like a sanctuary because they can spin those webs in between those panels yeah and capture every bug that flies through. and those are just the ones that you can see if you look up underneath yeah. all of here oh it's all covered. those rungs and stuff from here you can see that it is just webs and webs of and spiders it's like if you check there. the plants by the water you should see tons of webs oh in there wow too. Ooh. no you can't see on the camera, but they're all in here. There's uh, one there. There's some back there, there. Some back there. 
This guy here, yeah. I just pissed off. I caught in the web. Oh. Look, all these guys. Look at this big one. Boom. This Look is that. my worst nightmare. Look, if you fell in these bushes, I would lose my. Sh you know what? Oh my gosh. They're just all in there. Just entangled in all the bushes. Oh my lord. It makes me itch. Just look oh at this big guy. Jesus. Holy crap. Oh, if that even touched me. All right. Serious question. Oh, God. Serious question. Don't make me stand by. Would you me. rather fall into the oh. Sacramento River oh. and not be able to see? Oh. Or would you rather fall into these bushes? Oh my God. Look, you know what's in the bushes. I do know what's in the bushes. You don't know what's in the river. Yeah. I want to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, what would you choose? I don't know because... You already know that these guys will bite, but it won't kill you. Yeah, if they want to bite, they'll bite. I mean, they may not bite me if I fall in. And I know from being in the part of country that we're in, <sighs> there is nothing in this water that will harm you. Yeah, I know, but I don't, you know my fear of water I can't see through. I would, I am convinced I would pass out upon impact in, in water that I can't see through. I mean, would you pass out on impact into the bushes? No. You think you could get yourself back but out? But I'd like to think that maybe <laughs> this I, is could, so interesting. I could walk on water <laughs> if I fell into the water because I would be so panicked that I could get out fast enough. And y'all, I'm telling you, as we're <laughs> vlogging, my hand is like... <laughs> Inches away from These spiders are crazy. This is the whole thing lined with them. They're everywhere But I'm not like a that's like a super fear factor thing right there fearful of spiders guy mm. So it doesn't really bother me too mm. much. Oh this no, I, uh, that's a good question because I honestly don't know which one I can handle better Leave a comment. Let us know fall what you think. Spiders, what would you rather do? Fall in water. God. All right I'm going to attempt <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attempt the Spider selfie. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take a selfie with one of these huge spiders. <laughs> I gotta be careful though, because if I lean in too far, there's spiders Sp everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. So this big guy is kind of pulled out a little bit. So I'm trying to take a selfie with this guy. And all, then all for a selfie Saturday. I'll put it on a. <laughs> whoa. I'll put careful. it on a selfie Saturday. Holy crap! Let me get my. Um, well, I don't want to hit his. I don't want to hit his web. Lean in a little closer. Get a little closer. Get a little more intimate. Come on. Act like you like it. I gotta try to get him in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh. Ooh, you made that one angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Leave crazy how intimidating something so little can be, isn't it? <laughs> Leave us a comment. Let us know if you would attempt the uh, spider selfie. Maybe we'll do like the spider selfie challenge. challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at the Turtle Bay Museum now. Yeah. We went across the bridge over to the Botanical Gardens. Didn't go through there. No. It just seemed like a lot of walking and not a lot to see. Even yeah. though it's free over there. I mean, they're beautiful. Gardens are beautiful. Yeah, but so we want to spend our time seeing all the cool stuff. Animals are on this yeah, side. Yeah, animals so over here. <laughs> so um, we're going to go inside. All the indoor stuff requires a mask. So we won't be doing any vlogging there, but we'll show you what's in there. Yeah. And then for the outside stuff and going to see the animals, maybe we'll be able to take our mask off and be able to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that we're seeing. Yeah. <laughs> found this um, kid's swing thing where you like put it between your legs and you grow yeah and I don't know that we're supposed to be on it we're the only ones but here. there's no kids so, so we're gonna roll <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> what's the worst that's happened the worst thing can happen is it can flip us off or and snap, snap an <laughs> arm or a leg or <laughs> something I don't know if this cable is meant for adults but we're gonna try it anyway and uh, if yeah. we get really really hurt we will dispose of the footage um, 
or if we break something, we'll dispose of the footage so we can't be sued. So, there you go. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. If everything goes well, then you'll see it. <laughs> Deal? Deal. <laughs> you go first. Okay. behind us is a catapult and I'm not sure why they have a catapult here I don't know if I've ever seen one in person before no I don't think I have either but anyway the uh, cool. maybe just because they have animals here and because catapults are traditionally used for launching cats extremely long distances not true <laughs> <laughs> so false it can be any kind of cat it can it can launch mountain lions and jaguars bobcat Tigers, house cats. House cats get some distance. No, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> That's not what it's for. It's called a catapult. Why would it not be for launching cats? <laughs> this is why I'm in charge of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Seen some cool stuff so far. Yeah. I think there's more cool stuff to see. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stop and talk about this. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know what that is? Well, it's a, a sea lion. Art, 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 art. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. I should have known. I couldn't it. <laughs> Set me right up. I wonder if thinking about it. Dang. <laughs> I can't stop laughing <laughs> myself. <laughs> Let's go see some more. Okay. <laughs> Very fun day. Yeah. So happy to be back out exploring and doing things. Yeah. It's awesome. Not being drowned in smoke and ash. Yeah. Um, so this place was definitely worth it, I think. Yeah. Um, we were out here for about three hours total. That's including the, well, the bridge, but uh, we got caught up in the spiders but, and stuff, yeah. so probably a little longer than most people would. Yeah. <laughs> and then the spider selfie was fun. Yeah. You want to go do one? Uh, no, I'm good. You want to do a spider selfie? Yeah. Come on. There's no sense in both of us doing it. <laughs> it's already been done. It's been done. You don't want to overdo it. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if we're going to get anything else in Reading or not. Uh, we'll see. Or I think we're going to try to. I think tomorrow we are. Yes. All right. So. I'm excited about tomorrow if we get to go. Stick around for a few seconds and you'll see what we're going to get into. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have sunshine. And we finally skies. have sunshine and clear skies. <laughs> this is the first time we've seen the sky in weeks. Yeah. So we're going to go into the caverns. Yeah, so we're going to go underground. <laughs> if that makes any sense yeah. at all. We didn't know. We I mean, didn't the know forecast be still said it was going to be smoky and foggy. Yeah, but we got lucky we got rain last night, so I think that cleared out some stuff. Yeah, but we do have like a shuttle ride down to the water, and then we have a boat, boat ride. ride. Because the actual, the water. yeah, the actual caverns are not right here. They're on, on the, the other side, side of, of the Lake Shasta. Yeah. So at least it's clear out. We'll get a good view of the lake and stuff. Yeah. Today. The so ride out nice. was beautiful. So I'm sure that'll be beautiful too. Yeah. So then we go across there and then we go into mm -hmm. the caverns and we're in there for like, I don't even know how 45, long. 45, 50 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a cool 58 degrees down there, which is nice because it's about 90 degrees outside right now. And yeah. it's supposed to get hotter today. So mm -hmm. uh, I think the caverns will feel really good. Yes. And um, we'll see what it looks like. Last week we were like cave exploring on our own. Yeah. This is a little more <laughs> controlled. Yeah. <laughs> and more glorified. This is a massive cave. And more money. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. we were cave exploring for free last week. And this yeah. one's probably about, what, 15 bucks a person? Oh, no. It's 32 a person. Holy Christ. It's $32 a person? We got a military discount. Oh, good. <laughs> so for the two of us, it was 58. 
Oh, okay. Well, we'll let you know if it's worth it at the end here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You were way off. Yeah, I was way off. <laughs> Well, we made it up the mountain yeah. to the entrance of the caverns, and it's a little terrifying to be honest because it drops straight off, yeah. like almost a thousand feet down, 950 feet down. Yeah. And so That's crazy. that alone was not super terrifying, but then when they say that um, there's no other access on this side of the river, yeah. so there's not even another road within 15 miles of here, yeah. so no other traffic can get in here. So if something happens, one way in, one way out. Uh, I don't think you're getting to a hospital anytime soon. soon. <laughs> no. So it would be pretty catastrophic. Yeah. But it was beautiful views. I'm glad Gorgeous that we riot. actually came to the caverns on a clear day, day because of the views up here yes. are amazing. Gorgeous. So now we're going inside the caverns. Yeah. Hopefully the camera lighting will be good enough to where we can see some yeah, stuff in there. Yeah, I think we're prepared. For What'd you think? Oh, it was fun, man. That was cool. Yeah, the I cathedral was, a was amazing. Out about the uh, price at first, but uh, it's worth it, man. So it's like yeah. a couple hours of entertainment and and very fun facts and everything. So yeah. very cool, uh, but definitely not for those who have trouble with stairs. <laughs> no, and it does say that it is not handicap accessible. Yeah. So if you can't do all the climbing, you're not to do the tour. It's definitely worth it you know going through the caves and then going across the, the lake on a boat yeah. and uh near-death experience on the, on the bus, bus. <laughs> uh it's all fun joe knew what he was doing yeah very very cool glad we came me too i'm trying not to fall on the i'm stairs. trying not to fall down the mountain too. <laughs> i haven't looked up really at all <laughs> it's very narrow very steep well it's all just super interesting and too much information to be able to yeah regurgitate <laughs> as a couple of really cool things that i wanted to mention like yeah. um everything had to be sh shipped over there on a boat when they were getting that oh, prepped and everything yeah. and so all the equipment over there all the buses all the materials to build it had mm -hmm. to be shipped over there and then one of the sh one of the boats that they used to take everything over there oh, yeah. was a boat that was used in at normandy in, Norm in world war ii yeah. soldiers hit the beach on that boat yeah. Uh, they said if you track that serial number back, that's one of the boats that, that hit the beach in Normandy. That's crazy. That is insane. Um, cool history, though. Yeah. <laughs> Those These woodpeckers. woodpeckers have been at it all afternoon. Yeah. They're stuffing acorns in those holes. Yeah. To save them for later. He's knocking <laughs> it in there. See him? That's crazy. That's so the, awesome. the woodpeckers... 
they hollow out these holes in the tree. This tree is riddled with holes. And then they go grab acorns. They and stuff them in the hole them in there. and knock them in. And it's like they're saving them for later. For winter. It's so cool. <laughs> anyway, I got squirrel. squirreled. I squirrel big time. <laughs> but um, one of the markings in the cave, the actually the only marking in the cave mm -hmm. is from the people who discovered the Explored cave. Explored it. Yeah. The, the two guys who were there. And so they signed it. They used the uh, soot off their torches Just, yeah. to sign the wall. And the reason that you can still see it today is because of the oil in their fingers. Mm -hmm. It doesn't wash away. Right. Yeah. It says 78. Yeah. But it's not 1978. No. It's, it's 1878. 1878. <laughs> so he discovered this. And they've since been discovering more rooms of the cavern. Yeah. And expanding. And it took them, what, five years? to get that thing ready to do tours. And even since they started doing tours back in the 60s, yeah. 1960s, um, they've discovered more rooms since then and more yeah. areas since then. And so they do a really good job of taking you through there. Guiding, yeah. Uh, it's a ton of stairs. It is a ton of stairs. And they warn you ahead of time that it's not handicap accessible or friendly. Yeah. So if you can't climb a bunch of stairs, you should not do this tour. Yeah, it would, all in all, it was a good day. Yeah. Shuttles and Boat rides boats and, and caverns. Yeah. and The cathedral room just blew me away. It was huge. Yeah. Ginormous. I know the camera is not going to do it justice at no, all. No, it's one of those you have to see in person to really appreciate it. And you really need to go on this tour to really appreciate it because, like I said, there's so much information yeah. that I can't remember. Yeah, what, like, through me was just one inch of length in those stalagmites and stalactites. Yeah. It takes a hundred years to get one inch of growth. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, it is crazy. Especially since some of them are massive. Huge. Like, that's hundreds Yeah, hundreds so he showed us one that years. was probably about that big around and maybe that tall. And then he said, just by science or whatever, they yeah. said that that was about a 4,000 year old stalagmite. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. It's incredible. Mother Nature's incredible. Yeah. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to be trapped in there. No. Uh, especially without the lighting, which is how <laughs> yeah. they explored it. They explored it With just pitch black. Light. Yeah. And you'll see in there uh, the original cave that they came through. The openings that they discovered yeah. these rooms. And then the original um, ladder that they put in there, yeah, still which there. is still there. Yeah, that's just to get from the cathedral room down into one of the other caverns. caverns. But oh man, it's crazy. It's yeah. still there, all rusted out, but, old. Oh yeah, you wouldn't rickety find that looking. Thing. <laughs> but it's cool to see that that's how the original people got down. Yeah, in there. Yeah, crazy. these tiny little metal ladders. Yeah. So um, I had a pretty good time here in Reading. Yeah. Not too shabby, man. Yeah. I didn't like really know what to expect from Reading. I neither. But I mean, it's it's been a pretty cool stop. Yeah, and I think there's more stuff to do here, so oh yeah, there find some more stuff. But just for us, just a couple things that we got to do. Yeah, it was very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a wrap from Reading. Stick around for a few seconds and help us honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We're out of Reading. Yep. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.